Just a few miles from the raging war in Gaza, families are setting up their tents and sukkahs for the Jewish festival of Sukkot. But the reason for their gathering isn't purely religious. These are ultra-nationalist Israelis who want to resettle the Gaza Strip. They have come here to discuss and train for the occupation of Palestinian territory. Normally this would be a closed military zone and they wouldn't be allowed here, but the Israeli army and police are securing the event. Today we are preparing for the settlement of Gaza, in preparation for turning Gaza into a Jewish city. And today we are here to organize, to see what it's like on the ground what it's like to build, what it's like to build new houses. After the, the 7th of October, we feel all of us to, to come and to go to Gaza, Gaza. Because Gaza is our country. Uh, 19 years was not, but it's our country. Israel removed its settlements in Gaza in 2005. Many say that this was a mistake and are pushing to resettle, including members of the current government. Not only ministers and Knesset members from far-right parties, but also Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party. Although Netanyahu himself has denied there are any plans to resettle Gaza. Historically, this place belongs to us. And uh, what, is, uh, uh, what is the most important thing is that the tragedy, the catastrophe of the October 7 occur, uh, occurred because we didn't, uh, uh, we didn't control the, the area, we didn't control these territories, and uh, these uh, territories are essential to, uh, for our security. In Gaza, the situation could not be more desperate. Since the war began, at least 90% of its 2.2 million residents have been forcibly displaced. Much of the civilian infrastructure has been bombed to the ground, and more than 42,000 Palestinians have been killed, according to Gaza's health ministry. But not everybody wants to resettle Gaza. This small group of Israelis has come out to protest against the settlers' plans. Some live close by. They're worried that if Gaza is resettled, the war will never end and the hostages will never return. We believe that their ideology are uh, very risky and dangerous for Israel, for, uh, for the survival of Israel. And uh, we are, what we are saying is that we want to get separated from the Palestinians, not to get involved in them, in their population. When we've been there, and I've been there as a soldier, it wasn't good. It led only for more death and more hate. But these concerns fall on deaf ears among settlers. And while they pray for new life across the border, Palestinians in Gaza struggle to survive.